Hi, welcome to the Daddy Curbs Farm kitchen. I'm here with Mama Curbs. I came in from work and she's slicing tomatoes, preparing tomatoes, and we decided we were gonna go ahead and do a video about what we're doing and why we're doing it. This year has been an amazing year for growing tomatoes, and we have an abundance of tomatoes. Now, so far we've already pureed and frozen some. We've eaten a lot of fresh tomatoes, but Mama Curbs thought it would be kind of fun if we did some dried tomatoes, like sun-dried tomatoes, only without doing it out in the sun. So we're gonna do a little challenge. I'm gonna win. A little challenge. Stop throwing <laughs> knives around. Uh, she's gonna do her tomatoes in the oven, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna do mine in a dehydrator. We're gonna compare how long it takes to get them to that texture they need to be for dried tomatoes, and we're also going to compare flavor. She's gonna place hers on parchment paper, on trays in the oven, and mine's going in the dehydrator. So the recipe we're going to use is slice the tomatoes evenly, put on your sheet, whether it be the baking sheet or the dehydrator, and generously coat them with some salt. And then I'm going to put mine in the oven at 225 for five to six hours. We will be using Himalayan pink salt the recipe that we found online called for sea salt. Uh, we'll leave that link in the description below to be fair to the website where we got this. And so yeah, let's start slicing tomatoes and we'll start this challenge. It's on. It's on. Bring it. Are you slicing them in thirds? I have been trying to get them even. So some of mine are bigger, so I've done it in thirds. Don't these taste good on pizza? Mmm, pizza, salads. I've never really had them in salads. In wraps. Yep, in a wrap. Hopefully these turn out amazing. Well, I'm pretty sure that the dehydrated version is going to be better. Now that both trays are prepared, salted, mine's a little saltier, they're gonna go into the oven and the dehydrator and we'll get back with you soon to compare which is better. instructions they should be leathery not crispy something like this one might be close but there's a lot of them that still have a lot of moisture in them looks like we have another hour or so to go with these after six and a half hours look at that those Oops. are good looking they're not crisp they're they're slightly crisp but they're leathery Some of them are more leathery than others, but those look very good. So we're storing them in a bag going into the refrigerator. Those in the oven took about six and a half hours and then they sat to cool down. The dehydrator took a little longer. Before we went to bed, I realized that the dehydrator was gonna take a lot longer. So I turned it on low and I left it run all night. It was about 14 hours and this morning, they are pretty much like the ones in the oven. They're a little more leathery, not 
quite as crisp. There's a little bit of crisp edges on some of them, but most of them are just really nice and leathery. It's day two. We have finished product. This is the oven variety. This is the dehydrator variety. So because Mama Curbs and I can't really judge against each other, we brought in our Littlest Vegan. And she's going to taste each and give her honest opinion. How do you feel about the process? I thought it was really easy and simple. I would start the process earlier in the day. I had to get up at 11.30 last night and turn the oven off and check on the tomatoes. I would start earlier in the day. That's a good point. Yeah. But it was a really easy way to use the tomatoes and not let them go to waste. So as far as timing goes for myself too, my, the dehydrator took a little longer as far as the recommended timing. But uh, instead of turning mine off, I just got up. Uh, or actually, right before I went to bed, I turned it on low and let it go through the night. Okay, anything else? No. Littlest Vegan, our daughter, Precious Judge, you have the task before you to taste and give your honest opinion. Do you like tomatoes, though? I love them. Okay. <laughs> you have dehydrator on the left, oven on the right, the, the de dehydrator on the left, just remember, on the left. <laughs> I am your transportation everywhere. Yeah. No coercion at all. You're going to lean Honest. this way. <laughs> yeah. It tastes kind of like tomato soup. Tomato which I soup. love. Now before you share your opinion, I'm going to taste both too. Because I'm curious. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab one of, one of my own here from the dehydrator. Earlier I had a friend over and she tasted yours. She thought they were wonderful. She said, little salty. You cheated? <laughs> Are we going to add and say which one she liked better? Of course. I just wanted to taste. Okay. Before you spoke, I wanted to know for myself. So, you're the judge. Look into the camera. Give your honest opinion about the the tomatoes before you. Okay, they're both good. They're both tomatoes, which is fantastic. I love tomatoes. Um, Presentation-wise, these guys are really colorful and bright. They look yes. Like, they look kind of like peppers, so it's a lot of color. These guys look a little more like sun-dried tomatoes in my head, just kind of the dried, kind of maroonish look. Yes. Presentation, I like these. Flavor-wise. I love tomato soup. These taste a lot like tomato soup. I can see these being great on really anything you'd want tomatoes on. Um, these, also really good. They'd be good with something that's um, maybe a little sweeter. Because uh, they are pretty salty. But they've got a lot of good flavor. So if you did kind of like anchovies. Like, you know, flavor really strong. So I added too much salt. Yeah, that's what we're getting at. Okay. Um, but... Both are really good in their own rights. The way you cook with them really would make each one pop out more. Personally, I prefer these because these are the ones that I can eat straight up. I don't need water to wash them down. This is something I can chew on easy. This is something that I want with something. So personally, in this objective competition, I'm going to go with mom. Thank you for driving me places. <laughs> is it mainly because I didn't add too much salt? Well, I like the texture of yours. I like the color of them, and I like the no salt. <laughs> I think I definitely added too much salt. The texture of yours is really good. Mine's a little soft. Maybe they could have gone a little longer. Um, I think the tomato flavor in both is good. They'd be really good on like um, a grilled sub with like some fresh mozzarella and basil and yeah. some uh, like a sweet vinaigrette. So something that would require. Uh, a little bit softer texture, maybe a little bit saltier. Of course, this could have been different if I just would have added less salt. Yes. But as far as the cooking process, the oven did dry them out. This is just my opinion. Did dry them out a little more in less time. Uh, the dehydrator, these are still somewhat soft. Um, some, of, some of these are a little bit leathery, but they're a little more crispy on the edges. These are very much more leathery. 
not much crisp. So. What I like about being able to use the oven is that sometimes people don't have a dehydrator. Right. It takes room, it takes storage, it takes money to have a dehydrator. And so the convenience of the oven is wonderful. Right, for right. And you can still get a finished product. So yours were cooked in the oven at 225 for Five six, and, yeah, six hours. About six hours. And then after that, did you just turn it off and let them sit, or did you put them in the refrigerator? Turned the oven off and went to bed. Turned it off and let it cool down over hours. So in the dehydrator, it w it ran for about five hours at medium. There's no temperature controls as far as numbers on my dehydrator. And then before I went to bed, I turned it to low and let it go for another seven hours. And it, it still did not uh, process them as much as the oven did in five hours. Any final thoughts, Judge? I love tomatoes. These are good tomatoes. My parents are good. I like turtles. <laughs> I like turtles. I like how easy it was. And it's a good way to use the tomatoes and it stores in the refrigerator for, I read... Six so, months? Yeah, six months. As long as you don't put them in oil. Right, so if you put put them in a bag in the, refriger in the refrigerator or freezer? Refrigerator. Uh, but you can store them, a small amount of them, in a small jar in oil and serve them within two weeks, mm -hmm. according to the website that is linked below. And I think that would be a nice way, and you could even add maybe a little bit of um, uh, hot pepper to it if you wanted to spice them up a little bit. So, who's the winner? She already picked it. Mama Curbs gets it. And I, I can agree. I can agree. I definitely added too much salt. You did a great job. They look beautiful. I think mine are actually a little prettier. They're prettier. Color-wise. Yes, by color. Uh, but, um, by flavor, yours wins. Okay, so, pizza this week. Good work, team. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Daddy Curbs Farm in the kitchen. It's just fun to bring these things to you. If you have an idea of how to do sun-dried tomatoes or oven-dried tomatoes, uh, please post that in your comments below. I'd love to make you a part of the story. We do believe here on the Daddy Curbs Farm that everyone has a story and every story counts. Thank you for being a part of our story through this video and letting us be a part of yours. We'll talk to you soon. We'll talk to you soon. Stop. <laughs>